Hey there, this is Joel Rich, and I'm going to do a very basic introduction to Maximus P. Jitter. Like, you really don't understand what's going on, but I'm going to try to help you a little bit. Okay, so to sort of understand Maximus P, realize that it comes, it's sort of like three things put into one. Max is like the data portion, like dealing with numbers and MIDI and that sort of stuff, very basic numbers. Um, MSP is the audio portion. To do anything to do with sound is MSP stuff. And then Jitter is all of the video processing stuff. So I'm a musician myself, and I'm going to tailor this towards musicians. So I just want to make something that sounds cool as quickly as possible. And I'm assuming that anybody watching this kind of feels the same way. So I'm going to open up Maximus P, and I'm going to make a new patcher. Okay, so the very basics of Maximus P. You start with Max. Let's do some super simple things all right so i'm gonna make a number object number object is it's a number it's a number it stays in place i'll lock it i can click on it and drag it up and down the number changes every time the number changes it'll output if it's connected to something so what does that look like well if i make another object another number and i Click on the outlet. So the things on the bottom, there's little black spots on the bottom are outlets. And you click on it and you can drag this cord. That's like an information path. And that will move into the inlet of another object. So I want it, I want this object to control this object. So going from outlet to inlet, I lock it. If I drag this number, it controls it exactly. So every time it, it does this, it's controlling it. All right, so what else can we control? Let's see, I'm gonna make a new object. Uh, another basic object that's very good is this, is the button object. I'll make it a little bit bigger. You can sort of drag and make these things bigger, smaller. Um, what this is, is basically a yes message. So every time, it basically means like do something. It's, it's so in maximum speed language, it's bang. It's a bang, it sends a bang message. So if we put the output from this top number box into the top, it, or into the uh, top inlet of the bang object or the button object, and we lock this, and then we move this up and down. You can also use the up and down arrow keys. You can see that every time the number changes, the button object goes yellow because that means it's been activated. It means it got hit by something. So you can pretty much send anything into the button object and it will do this. It'll be like, yes, I've been hit. Hit by something. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. But if we move this object, that is not happening. That's because signal, like the information in Maximus B goes downwards. It goes from outlets to inlets and not the other way around. So if we wanted this one to also do the same thing, I can go over here and stick that in the top of there. Move that to better see it. Lock this again. There we go. So now, now it actually controls this one, but it's not controlling the top one because it's not going into there. You can't actually, you can't actually put this in the top. Well, you can actually but I think it will get mad at me if I do it. Yeah, stack overflow. It's basically creating an infinite loop. You don't want that, that's not good. So I'm just gonna delete one of these, oops. I can click on the cord, hit delete, and it's gone. There we go. Cool. Beep, 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 beep. Nice. So how do you make sound with this? This is, this doesn't make any sound. Well, if we make a new object, let's just make something that makes sound really fast because that's more interesting than watching numbers and things turn yellow. Um, I made this object, it's called the Easy DAC. If you missed that, it's this one right here. Um, what this is, is a representation of your computer's outputs like your computer speakers so you can see it's a little speaker and it's a button and you can when it's locked you can click it and it will turn on or turn off 
and you know if your sound card set up correctly and there's audio going out into this thing then you'll hear something so let's make something that makes audio well, i'm going to make a blank object which is this one here i'm going to type something into it i'm going to you type in let's see cycle because that's that's a good object there's two cycle objects you start if you start typing it in it'll fill it in for you but you can see that there are two objects named cycle one object the one on the top is the regular cycle object that is a it's a max object it that means it only outputs data it's not outputting sound but the one on the bottom cycle tilde the tilde means it's an msp object and therefore is putting out audio so that's the one we want because we want to hear something we can hear we like hearing audio all right so this has got the same thing it's got inputs in the top this one is this this one's the frequency control this one's the phase we don't need to worry about that right now and that one's the signal output so say i want this object to control the frequency cool so now when i drag this it's going to lock it it's going to control the frequency let's just get rid of let's get rid of the unnecessary objects because they're just distracting okay so this is going to control the frequency now cool um i don't want this object going straight out it's a it, it goes at like full volume so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a new object another blank object and this one's a math object it uh there's a bunch of math objects this one is the multiply object and the multiply object is very useful for audio you can see that there's two of them one is the max object which is the one without the tilde and then there's the msp object which is the one with the tilde it's working with audio i want to use it on audio the the audio from the cycle object so i'm going to select that one all right and i'm going to run the output from the cycle into the multiply object here and when we do this you can see that this one has a different kind of chord that's because it's an audio chord it just helps you realize which objects are outputting audio and which are outputting simple data okay so i'm going to put it in here and i'm going to put this out into here so I'm running the output from there into my speakers there we go just put it in one into either side and the one last thing i'm going to make a new object and this one is a float a float number it's different than integer it can do decimals uh, integers can't do decimals all right and i'm going to out put the output from that into the right output of the multiply object and what this is going to do is it's going to say take the sit take the signal from cycle and multiply it by this number so i want it to be about i don't know a quarter of the volume so i'm going to lock this and i'm going to type in 0.25 and if you remember from math 0.25 is a quarter of one if you multiply a number by 0.25 it will be one quarter of the size and so now the audio is going from here to like that that's about a quarter isn't it okay and now if i move this around oh, i turn this on i can use this number slider here the number here to change the frequency of the cycle and the cycle is outputting into the multiply object it's being multiplied by 2.5 you can see that if i make this number bigger it gets louder or quieter actually negative works just as good <laughs> whoa i just made it way louder okay so that's it for the basic tutorial i'll be doing more basic tutorials that kind of expand on this and actually are a little bit more interesting hopefully anyways uh keep making weird noises bye all right so if you're a beginner to maximus p and this is helpful to you please hit like or favorite or add a comment so that i know that you want more of this type of thing and if there was something that was confusing, maybe send me a message or leave a comment and I'll add an annotation or, you know, go over it in the next video. Anyways, until then, bye.